Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Nintendo Entertainment System games on your personal computer. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So in order to play Nintendo games on a PC, you need two things. You need an emulator, which is an application that was specifically designed to mimic the look feel and functionality of a video game system. And two, you need a ROM file. A ROM file is an electronic representation of a physical Nintendo game. So let's go ahead and acquire an emulator now. I prefer the JNES emulator from Jabosoft. So I'm going to go ahead and search JNES emulator and the first link in the search results is for Jabosoft's website. So let's go ahead and go there now and we're going to download JNES for Windows. I will throw the download link up in the description for this video. So the application has downloaded. Let us run the installer. And just I'm going to leave the destination folder the same. You could change it optionally if you prefer. So the installation has completed. Let's click close. We can go ahead and close our web browser. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the application. As you can see it is presented us with a shortcut on our desktop. So here is the interface for JNES. What I like to do first is go to options and video and make sure that the windowed and full screen resolutions match what's available on my computer. And I also like to check go full screen when a ROM is opened. The other things I like to check is under settings. I like to ensure that associate.nes files with JNES is checked. I also like to make sure check for new versions is checked such that it automatically checks for new versions every time you open the application up. Okay, so we are ready to open a video game. Now, I am not including how to create or download ROM files in this video. Here I have Dragon Warrior 1 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now going to make sure our audio is enabled. I'm only going to let the audio play for a brief second just so everyone can hear it and then I will go ahead and mute that. So let's double click on this game and it should open up. So as you can see the game has gone ahead and opened. So while playing your game you can create instant save points with the JNES emulator just by simply going file save and then file restore and you will basically be able to save and pick back up where you left off at any point in your game. Okay well I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you would like to see please drop me a comment in this for this video. Please click that like button and subscribe to the channel and I will have more exciting and new things coming soon. Thank you, everyone.